Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bowler. Welcome to this first of two videos from the Baseball Card Castle's yearly Customer Appreciation Day sale, which is usually held around Thanksgiving, or the weekend before, or the weekend after, and this time it was the week before Thanksgiving. So I went up on Friday, November 19th, 2021, and I bought some nice little items here, and I'm going to show you in this video the four autographed baseballs, because that's my favorite thing to collect. I picked up four autographed baseballs, and I also picked up two micro mini helmets of Steelers players. They're not mini helmets. They're actually a little bit smaller than your traditional mini helmet, but the two players I saw, I mean, I really liked them. So let me go ahead and show you. Well, shoot, let's go ahead and show you the two micro helmets because I'm not much of a Steeler fan anymore of the current team, the re more recent teams. But yeah, this is not the size of a traditional mini helmet. A mini helmet would probably be about maybe an inch taller and I'm guessing three inches wide you know, longer, but we have Thunder Dan, Dan Kreider. I really liked Dan Kreider. How the heck? You got Jerome Bettis coming at you, but before that, you got this gigantic, monstrous fullback about to hit you. So, in hindsight, part of me wishes I would have bought more of these little micro mini helmets, but I picked out the two that I really wanted, and I wanted this one. So, I got Dan Kreider. Oh, and this was $20. The guy at Baseball Card Castle apparently bought this person's collection, you know, and he had you know, a whole bunch of these in. The ones that really weren't big names ended up on the $20 table at this sale. So that was the first time they made an appearance, these little micro helmets. And then I picked up this one. A lot of people probably won't recognize this name. Um, R.J. Bowers, if you were to Google him, had a gajillion yards in college. Um, he was like, for a time there, the record whore for yards gained at, at the college level. But, you know, he was a, a D1 running back at a D3 school. And I actually went to that school for two years before I transferred. And I was at Grove City College. And I thought, oh my gosh, I have to get this an R.J. Bowers autograph. So this was a really cool item. For multiple reasons, really. So I picked out the two that I really wanted. Like, there weren't any other two micro mini helmets that I was like, from the $20 table, that I was like, oh, I really want that. No, I got the two that I really wanted. All right, on to the autograph baseballs. There are four of them. So usually at these sales, he has not just a $20 table. Actually, it's usually like a $10 table. He used to have a $5 table, but that's okay. And this is on an official Major League Bud C League ball. We got the former Pirates manager, Jim Tracy. He does TTM. I was tempted to send one out TTM, but I just got this for $10. That's cheaper than the price of a baseball. That's cheaper than the postage either way. I mean, this was a great deal. Um, he was the manager of the year for the uh, Rockies, I believe. So... Holy smokes, what a good pickup that was for a whopping $10. And he was with other teams, too. He, he was around for quite a while. So that was cool. Now, there's one more item from the $10 table that I got as far as autographed baseballs are concerned. There was only four of them there. The sale had started on Thursday, and I just had to wonder, you know, how many uh, you know things were on that table. Ugh. But that's okay, because this one's really cool, too. It's on a Bud Selig ball, an official Bud Selig ball here. Former play-by-play -play announcer for the Pittsburgh Pirates for a lot of years. I believe it was over 30 years. We have Lanny Frateri. Great broadcaster. Really, really enjoyed. I kind of was toward the tail end of that. So, But I had been low-key wanting to get one of these. Signed by him. Also looking for a David Littlefield, who was the GM for a brief amount of time. But this one was much more higher on my priority list. So I got ourselves a Lanny for Terry signed baseball. And the fact that it's not on the sweet spot is no big deal at all to me. Because, uh, you know, there aren't many of these around. And this display is pretty nice. So it almost, I always say that on a baseball, if it's not signed on the sweet spot, the next best spot would be right underneath this. Well, for one thing, that's got a little bit of a... You know, not imperfection there, but he doesn't play baseball, so I'd actually rather it be on that side panel. I never like it when it's underneath that panel. <laughs> but yeah, that was a great, 
look at that. Three items, four items so far, $60. And it's like I couldn't be happier with this. All right, this next one was a little bit of a whoops on my part. <laughs> but it's still cool. <laughs> Tony Black, I know you watch my videos, man. This former Cub had a really good, well, injury plague. But his potential was um, was huge. We got Mark Pryor. For, uh, for <laughs> whenever I saw this, it was pretty much on my way. I'm like, oh, Mark Pryor, that's awesome. He had the 20 strikeouts. Grabbed it. Because I saw what the price was and it was 20% off. I paid $30 for this. Official Major League Bud Selig Ball and JSA'd. And then as soon as I walked out the store, I'm like, what the crap? Did I just confuse Mark Pryor with Kerry Wood? I sure did. But Mark Pryor was a really good pitcher. It's just that his career really wasn't very long. I mean... I think uh, Tony Black would probably know the exact years, but, you know, he had a few years there, and dang, that's a cool addition to the collection. That was a huge whoops, but I'm not sure if I'm going to hold on to this for very long. This might end up going away. I might end up selling it, to be honest with you, but I don't know. I, I'm sure Tony already has a Mark Pryor autograph, but that was really cool. I got him and Kerry Wood mixed up. Dang, nab it, Steven. Ugh. All right, I got one more to show you, and I kind of, you know, held off on showing this to you until the end because it's really cool. This is another thing I've been low-key watching on eBay, except this one's not as nice, but it is nice. Um, okay, let's try to start with the positives here. For some reason, it's on a 94 All-Star Ball. For some reason, okay, that's cool. Um, yeah. But let's go with a negative. I mean, an obvious negative. This was signed. One of the two signatures was signed in black pen. And it has faded a little bit. So, what we have here. And he's still alive. Is Johnny O'Brien. Oh, shoot. I shouldn't say stuff like that. Because by the time this video gets shown, who knows when that will be. <laughs> I mean, the oh, my gosh. At the, at the time I'm going to be shooting this video. I mean, this guy is no young guy here. He's 90. But, um. He played for the Pittsburgh Pirates from 1953 to 1958. And then underneath it, he wrote Milwaukee, 1959. That's Johnny O'Brien. And then you have his twin brother. This was signed in blue ink, and it looks so much... This is why you get things signed in blue ink. Oh, my goodness. His twin brother, Eddie O'Brien. You know, he's obviously... a. Uh, he passed away, actually. So, yeah, he's not around anymore. So, to get one with his years as a pirate, 1953 and then 1958, 5 to 58, that is so cool. I had been watching a dual brother signed one. That was 100 bucks. I think it was through Mill Creek Sports, so they will accept the best offer, a very smaller amount of that. But when I saw this many times at that store, I kept thinking... But this is in black pen. It's faded a bit. Look, at some point you look at something and go, oh my gosh, if this sold, I would be actually pretty bummed out because the, <clears throat> the one on eBay does not have the inscriptions. Does not have the inscriptions. And being on a 94 All-Star Bots when it was in Pittsburgh, so even if they had no connection to the All-Star game, it's still cool because it's the Pittsburgh game. And uh, with the sale price, and he kicked it down just a little bit more, I paid $50 for this. And to me, that is a great deal for my signed baseball collection. So that's my first of two videos. My next video is going to show you the other items I picked up, which are mostly autographs from the $10 bin, plus some trading cards that I got. So let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Monday and an autograph or trading card video such as this on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Take care, everybody.